this field deals with like solving engineering problems for the artist and to create those technologies which the artist would use or which the industry would use so the subjects that i'm studying right now just to give you a brief idea are like acoustics uh, speech processing audio uh, specifically audio dsp uh, digital signal processing for audio how to deal with the audio data right now i finished my subject called uh, designing digital synthesizers so i had to like design my own synthesizers what you see in market you have various knobs so we had to design those knobs develop logic for it how the data would trans- transfer and you press a, press a key and how it would sound so all these things are basically the engineering problems for creative solutions so you need to have an understanding of the creative part as well so you need to like understand how artists would use it as a part of my internship at yashara studios i love the way a technical guy would help shape a creative expression and that amalgamation of engineering as well as creativity really prompted prompted me to take music engineering technology since i am like fully fully funded so i have to take like limited number of subjects or credits per semester so when i had like three subjects so most of like two of them were on tuesdays and thursdays and one of them would be on mondays and wednesdays and fridays so it would like cover the whole week but the lectures were like 1 hour 15 minutes or 50 minutes if they were on 3 days so i have to like take 30 credits to graduate which includes like a mandatory of 3 credits of master thesis which you can split however you want so i have taken like one thesis credit uh, in my preceding semester and i'll take two in my next spring semester and i had to take like 12 ec credits compulsory so i had to like take three ec subjects compulsory and the rest were music engineering courses which included some courses which were compulsory one of them being some research project second being the plugins class and i had like two electives to take so i took ios audio programming and synthesizer designing and i have one other compulsory subject which is psychoacoustics which is in the next semester if your class falls in that the popular zone which cuts across all the streams and if it is not like a stream specific then those classes uh, seem to get booked really early so you need to look out for all those de- details and you have to work that out with your academic advisor so it mainly depends upon your your stream and your professors and your faculty advisor as to what kind of courses do they allow and generally they allow one or two like three credits you can like take from any department that is directly not related to a stream maybe say from like an arts department or a music department so you need to work that out with your faculty advisor i would like highly recommend you to have a great dialogue with your professors and not only like ask them subject uh, doubts regarding your subjects but also like the current trends in the industry most of the professors uh, i met or i interacted with had a very uh, good relations with the current industry and had a great knowledge about what's going on in the industry and what's in the future so in that sense like the professors are really aware about that and they mostly design their course accordingly and sometimes you have examinations some in some courses you don't have examinations like for my case like in two or three subjects that i took i didn't have any like written examinations all my grading was based on the projects that i had submitted and the weightage of those tests depends completely on the professors the way to maintain is basically first of all like understanding the pattern of the course how the course is designed and what does your professor expect out of that course so if i talk about like my acoustics course the projects and the examinations he used to like give equal weight weightages to the projects homeworks as well as the class test and even in the test he never expected like the right answer for us he wanted us to uh, be correct as far as the approach is concerned so if we had like the right approach and if we saw that in a solution that the path is correct the logic is correct the things that i am applying is correct 
then he would definitely like give us grades for that so you have to understand what your professor really wants from that particular subject try searching uh, what are the subjects that are offering immediately like in the next fall and try to make up like a schedule in your mind of what kind of subjects you are going to take and just go through the course contents almost every professor like has some basic topics or like a flow of what is going to teach in that particular subject or in even looking at the course description you would definitely can make an idea of what the course would be just to remember one thing nobody is going to spoon feed you when you start your masters you are required to know certain things and you are required to know certain concepts and if you are not aware about those things you have to work like extra hard to keep up with the advanced course as well as like clear your basics along with it so i would definitely recommend doing some online courses before coming here